As quarter one of the year we thought would be the golden year is coming to an end, I'm going to be going over all the games we got from January to the end of March because that's quarter one. But with all that said, let's start off with January. Now, January might definitely be a month that needs to go down in history books because going into 2024, I knew people were going to make bandit beaters, but a part of me was hoping they'd see how bad they did in 2023 and decided to change their ways. But clearly not because starting off January 6th, we got Peace Tales. And if you know what Peace Tales was, it was a below average bandit beater. I'm hating. It was below average. It wasn't even playable. You know what I'm saying? I think it got like 16 concurrent now. I don't think it even broke 1k on release. They tried to say, oh, first person to max level, 100k Robux. I think it had like 900 players maybe, maybe even less. But this game was cooked from day one. Now, after the disappointment of Peace Tales, we did get a game on January 15th. It didn't officially release. It was in testing. But the game I'm talking about is Paradox. Now, Paradox, imagine if Project Mugetsu Graphics had a baby with Type Souls Combat. That's the best way to explain it. Now, we don't know how progression works because we haven't actually tried that out yet. But the combat, the visuals, the game looks good in itself. But I'm not going to speak on it too much until further testing. So let's move on to the next game. Now, moving on to January 19th, we got an Avatar The Last Airbender game. Now, this game is called Robending, and I was not expecting an Avatar The Last Airbending game, but this game turned out to be Doki Cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Now, I played this game with my friends. I still didn't have fun. Tried it alone. I still didn't have fun. And the way the NPCs just look, the way they just move, it just all looks funny to me. I'm going to be real with y'all. Now, listen, this game's progression is basically just a bandit beater. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's cool that it's an avatar game. But Sai need to get off of this game. And he need to get his butt back in the studio and work on Bushido. Where's that game out? The game everybody wanted. Now, on January 27th, we actually got two games. Now, one of these isn't an anime game, but it definitely has impacted Roblox in a negative way and Roblox anime developers. But we're going to start off with Remora's Arrow, which is just your basic Black Clover bandit beater. Like, imagine Blocks Fruits, but if it was Black Clover Edition. Nothing special, nothing unique. We've seen a thousand of these on the platform, but the only difference this time... Hey, it's Black Clover. Now, the next game we got on this day was Souls RNG. Now, listen, Souls RNG didn't really blow up on release. It was later on when it blew up, so we'll get into that. But if you don't know what Souls RNG is, let me tell you, it's hurting Roblox as a whole right now. Every developer is going out of their way trying to make an RNG game because of the success. But developers just don't realize, and they never will. Your game will not do as good as the original. Nobody's going to switch to your game when they already have the original where they have good stuff in now, it could have some anomalies where people could switch here and there, but mainly, Souls RNG will blow all these other ones out the water. None of them are really competing, but I wish none of them had the success they did, but congratulations to all the developers, they making a bag. Now, we'll get on to Souls RNG later on in the month it actually blew up in, but to close out January 2024, we were supposed to get Eternal Battlegrounds. Now, I had no set release date, but it was supposed to release in January, anytime in January, and it didn't. But listen, we got more information on that in February. So with that said, let's move on to February. Now, to start off, February was definitely a month where a lot of things happened. A lot of things changed for the worst. But to start us off in February, February 2nd to be exact, we got Mashal Academy CC Access. Now, listen, Mashal was really 50-50 because either you liked it or you didn't. Now, me personally, when I played Mashal Academy, the combat is similar to Fire Force Online. If you disagree, you didn't play FFO. It's the mini stun. It has a little F click parry, block counter, whatever you want to call it. The only thing Mashal had was evasives. And I guess if you want to throw it in there, ranged moves. Now, Mashal's progression, I'm not going to lie, that junk had me snoozing. I was sitting in my chair catching Z's trying to record that progression video. It was mad boring. I'm not going to lie. But the game itself is honestly the best game we have gotten so far in 2024. And that's crazy to say. Now, next up on February 3rd, we got Anime Last Stand. Now, if you know me, I despise tower defense games. And the owner of this game, Blam Spot, obviously he created this game after AA got taken down because he was trying to replace AA. And so far, this is the only tower defense to come out and actually have a decent player base, even though it's a tower defense game. And I just don't see the hype behind them. 
I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't see why y'all rock with them. Now, around February 12th is where Roblox 2024 started looking worse than 2023. We started seeing videos on RNG games, and this caused Souls RNG to blow up more and more than it should have even been blowing up in the first place. If I'm gonna be real with y'all, and people continue to make videos, and this led to probably the worst month I've seen in March, but we ain't there yet. So let's move on to the next thing that happened in February. Now, after this, we got the great tragedy of February 17th. Now, we got hit with a triple, and I'm talking triple whammy, whatever you want to call it. First off, we got Eternal Peace on Saturday, Basic One Piece Bandit Beater. The game was booty, buggy, got taken down, and it came back up in March, but we'll get into that in March. And then we were also supposed to get Tales of Sonorio the 17th. Guess what? They delayed. Then we were supposed to get it the 22nd guess what another delay and then we finally got it in march and obviously i'll talk more about it when we're actually talking about the whole month of march but just know the tales of tenorio community they were struggling and then to put the cherry on top of this terrible day we got anime clash now listen i was at top golf when all of this was transpiring you know i was chilling i was cooling but i know all y'all waiting for a game y'all was devastated anime clash dropped it had mad bugs I remember them saying, oh, what you're playing is an old testing place. They literally hit us with a Grand Kaizen. And there were people defending Anime Clash. Now, you can go back to my video. I haven't been a Glazer this year. And you can see me saying, I feel like they're going to pull another Grand Kaizen. And people disagreeing with me. People disagreeing with other CCs. And look at what happened. They pulled a Grand Kaizen. Now, they tried to play this off and say the game was in testing. Like, just be honest with us, bro. Like, hours before that, you said it was a full release, and now it's testing. Like, don't even try to go back on your word to save yourself. We know what happened. But listen, all I got to say is, don't make no crazy promises if you know you can't meet them. If you got to bring down some people's hopes, just do it. Tell them there's going to be a delay. They'll be mad, but at least they'll get a finished product. Now, another game tried to sneak its way on February 17th. I'm sure you ain't even hear about it. It pulled up to the function chilling. Ain't nobody know it was there. But the game I'm talking about is Spectre Battlegrounds, and Battlegrounds is in the name. So you can tell I hopped on this game for 10 minutes, got off, never booted it up again. Now, listen, I do like how you can interact with the environment around you because you a psychic, like a mob psycho. But other than that, it's still just a battlegrounds game so i can see why i didn't do as well but that's actually tragic now we got another game on february 23rd and it was a tower defense game named champions tower defense now listen i'm pretty sure on release it had like maybe 7k 6k i know it was 5k plus but shortly after the game died pretty quickly i'm not gonna lie i got 20 players right now the game is cooked now a day right after this on february 24th we actually got pocket anime testing now i'm gonna be real with y'all bro this is the most fun i've had on roblox in a minute now creature capture games haven't always been my thing like i did play pokemon every now and then but it was never my favorite game but this one was actually you know it was kind of enjoyable and especially with how dry roblox is i don't really care that it wasn't like a pvp heavy game it wasn't no exploration heavy game it was just a chill little game kick back relax listen to some music i was chilling while playing it and i just had a chill time i didn't run into too many bugs and it just felt like a pokemon game but with anime i rock with anime i rock with pokemon it was just a match made in heaven and finally to wrap it up at the end of february we were supposed to get eternal battlegrounds yet again because we didn't get it in january and guess what we still didn't get it now i'm not crazy hyped for eternal battlegrounds because it's a battlegrounds game but it does have good looking vfx the combat is parry based so it's better than most battlegrounds games am i gonna play it maybe 15 minutes instead of 10 but hey that's an upgrade march oh march man this month had me contemplating if what i'm doing is really worth it this month was actually horrendous but starting off march 1st we actually got two games one in testing one release so starting with the release one we got anime unlimited reborn now this name might sound familiar because the game did release in the past now i'm not sure if it did release once or twice in the past because people was over exaggerating saying third time's the charm three million times the charm but this is just your basic arena fighter the vfx cool the graphics it all looked cool but me personally i hated the combat because there was no evasive so you could just get infinite comboed if there was a building behind you or a wall and you got thrown at that wall you're as good as cooked because they could just infinite combo you now i'm not gonna lie some of the jujutsu kaisen characters were locked behind the game pass some of the ones i wanted i mean hey i got all the characters for free but we ain't gonna talk about that now some of the hitboxes 
they was a little messy too. I'm gonna be real with y'all. They did get fixed, but me personally, y'all know I don't like arena fighters, battlegrounds, because they're just so repetitive. I like progressing. I like exploring. I like finding new things, not just fight, fight, fight. You know what I'm saying? I could play them for like 10, 15 minutes, but after that, I'm going to have to get off. Now, also on this day, we did get to try out Clover RPG's combat. Now, I did get to play the real game, but that was on Media Band, so I can't show y'all none of that. But let me tell y'all right now, they cooking. In the combat, basically, just imagine Deep Oaken with Grimoires. So, if you love Deep Oaken and you love Black Clover, you're going to rock with this game heavy. And guess what? I rock with Deep Oaken. I rock with Black Clover. So, when this game drops, you might see a few videos here and there. You know what I'm saying? I had a good time on this game. But we just have to wait for release to see if they can carry that out and not be buggy like the rest of the games we've been getting. Now on March 2nd, we got a One Piece game named Curse C. Now this One Piece game was different than most of the ones we're used to. It did have a gotcha system, but it wasn't one of those ones with boring PvP progression and just flashy VFX. Now the VFX, it was booty. The models, booty. The map, booty. And apparently the combat was open source from YouTube, but hey, at least it was parry based. It was different. Now you could go through PvP progression or PvE progression. Now I did have an eye time on this game. It's nothing crazy. It is literally probably the second, third best game that I actually released besides Mashal, and that shows you. The bar ain't set too high. Now on March 3rd, we got a game that none of y'all probably heard of before. We got a game called Fairy Tale Magic Era. Now obviously it's a fairy tale game, and you didn't hear about this game for a reason. There's nothing to say about it. I heard it was better two years ago than it was today. That's all that needs to be said. Now moving on to March 9th, Anime Clash was supposed to re-release again on this date, but guess what? they delayed again now like i said i'm not really hyped for anime clash either because i don't like tds even though it's a wave defense i don't like those either i want to play the game myself i don't want to have my units do it for me but the game was delayed anyway so let's move on to the next one and finally on march 10th all the tales of tenorio fans were waiting for this even people in the anime community because roblox was so dry we got tales of tenorio now listen i'm going into this game i'm happy i'm excited to boot it up I get hit with a 40 hour cutscene. 40 hour cutscene, bro. The cutscene was so long, and for what reason? Why did it have to be so long? And obviously, on release, they had bugs. I'm not sure the testers even went in to test the game. They just looked at it. Oh, yeah, I can play this game, but I'm not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? They played it for fun. They didn't even report no bugs to the owners. I got soft locked within the first 10 minutes of playing. The cutscenes took two years. The models looked like they were from 2011. The animations, I could make them with my eyes closed and my hands cut off. Basically, it just looked like booty. I'm gonna be real with y'all, TOT was mid. But I'm gonna stop my yapping before y'all get angry at me. So let's move on to the next game. Little disclaimer, I'm just messing around. I can't animate, I can't develop in any way, shape, or form before y'all say, well then go make a better game. I'm just joking for entertainment purposes. Now, March 13th marked a day in the calendar of an era that I never thought would happen. I never thought we would make it here. We got a game called Anime RNG. Now, it's in the name. It's based off of Souls RNG. But hey, it's Anime Edition. Won't that be good? I'm actually kind of happy that this game didn't do as good as it should have. You know what I'm saying? Because I expected it to blow up because it was an RNG. But I think it only has like 600 players on it. That's more than needs to be on there. But still, it didn't blow up like some of these other ones. And on March 22nd, Sleepy Maui, Captain Maui, whatever you want to call him, he re-released Eternal Peace. I'm pretty sure it did worse this time than the release itself. Now listen, I didn't boot up the game on release. I'm not going to boot it up on re-release. And if he closes it down and opens it again, I'm still not going to boot it up. He might need to put this in the studio for three more years and come back and maybe it'll be looking better. I don't hate it. Now on March 23rd, we got another RNG game named Anime Roulette. Now at the time of this recording, it's sitting at 13,500 players, 13,500 drones, 13,500 robots, 13,500 aliens. You get where I'm going. These can't be humans. Now listen, I've seen people say, I'm hyped to play this RNG game. You're hyped to not play the RNG game? Just sit there with the auto clicker on and spit? There's no game. You're not playing. I get if they have PvP, but still, you're not playing. You know what I'm saying? And moving on to close this month out, we got Blaze of Chance on the 28th. And this had 55,000 players on release somehow. 55,000 robots. I'm not going to do that again. But listen, bro, I just don't see the hype in these RNG games. And now the RNG game selling point, this one to be exact, its selling point was this PvP. Well, this PvP sucked. It was a clicker simulator. I could hop on Pool Sword Simulator right now and play the same game PvP-wise because that's the exact same thing you did in the PvP. It sucked. 
and I'm pretty sure higher rarities did more damage. So it was literally just luck to win. I don't even know how to explain it. And listen, if you go into the shop, there's a chest you can buy and it gives you better swords. You can buy gems. You can buy better luck. You can buy potions to give you better luck. You can buy two times luck permanently, whatever. You can do that all. It's a pay to win game. The PVP just won't be fair if you could just go into the shop, buy this, boom, you're dead, you're dead, he's dead. Now listen, these games are only going to continue dropping if these content creators keep playing them and making videos. I'll see the same content creators complaining, saying, oh these RNG games suck, Roblox is in a drought, but they're the same ones to go and make a video on it, making the game even more popular because it's getting views right now. We just can't win in life. 2024 might be cooked. Now, I know I said quarter one and type so is supposed to drop on the 29th or 30th of March, which makes that quarter one. But since I'm posting this on the 30th, I can't really have an opinion on type so yet because the re-release hasn't even happened. But when it does happen, I'll probably go into the pinned comments, say something like this or say something like that. But all we know right now is that the owner of type Mimma is now working on type so they're planning to have new VFX new progression and just make the game a lot better and easier for newer players and a better game in general now can they deliver we just gonna have to hope and see and if they do i'll probably make a whole separate video on that if it's popping but right now that's basically quarter one now let me know if i left anything out because there was a lot of information in this video i was planning to add announcements of games news on games like holy war x coming back from hiatus the announcement of dimension x let me know if you want to see that in quarter two because if this video does well i'm gonna do a q2 q3 q4 and like sum it up at the end of the year just see how it goes in general but i'm gonna stop my yapping let me know what y'all think about quarter one make sure to like subscribe turn on notice so you never miss another upload because guess what bangers all 2024 i'm gonna say it every time but i'm gonna stop my yapping for real for real i'll catch y'all in the next one